G'day, Peanut Scrappers Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic. We are checking out more viewer submissions from you guys. It's so awesome that you send me all these cool um, maps that I could check out and share with you. I, I quite like doing these. I know that there's really not much else to do with Scrap Mechanic apart from work on Peanut Land and check out your creations. So you guys kind of enjoy it. I enjoy it too. Why not? Why not both tacogirl.jpg? Um, so today, before we get into it, I need to talk a little bit more about something that's coming up this weekend for me. It's pro I'm probably on my way now by the time you're watching this. Is Haven Expo in Mackay in North Queensland. I will be going. If you don't know yet, you can meet me there. You can tweet me. You can email me. There's all these things that you can do. Tweet uh, Twitter's is at menace underscore place. Um, yeah, tell me if you're going. Uh, there's a few people I know that are going, which is pretty cool because we can catch up and we're going to take a picture for the Twitters. We're totally taking a picture for the Twitters, whoever I see there. Um, I'll be wearing a big bright red shirt with my logo on it and it says youtube.com slash menace on the back. Um, I'll be doing some footage, filming a little bit, making a video vlog afterwards, telling you about my experiences and pretty much that's it. Um, big shout out to my sponsors Audio Technica for sending me some awesome microphones and obviously for helping me out with my audio equipment as it is anyway. Um, the microphone and headphones I'm speaking to you on are by them and they are really good speakers. There's uh, a video on my channel where I did an unboxing. You should check it out because Audio Technica stuff is top notch, I can tell you now. So first of all, let's go, I've got three creations today. I don't know um, how long the video will be, but we'll find out soon. Um... This first one, though, this first one is is pretty cool. Um, very special, in my opinion. It is by a bloke named Oblivious Pig. He sent me his world, and it is what he calls a futuristic tank. Now, Oblivious Pig, he is from Australia, and he's 13 years old. Thank you for the information, dude. This tank looks cool. It's like some Halo type stuff going on here. I don't even play Halo. Um, it is a two-person control tank, and he put in a whole heap of instructions, which you know that I totally read and forgot, right? But I, I like the use of um, Windows here. Really makes it kind of that futuristic. It even feels a little bit Star Citizen-y. If you guys have ever played Star Citizen. Um, the, the detail, the color scheme, I really like. That light blue and black is cool, man. And I'm really impressed by this build. Um, especially from, from a 13-year-old. Sometimes I get some builds and they're not so great, dude. So very... Very much hats off to you for that. Hey, that, that looks cool too. You've used like a... How have you even done that, actually? I reckon I know how. Yeah, that's cool, man. This this front end is schmicko. Look at, look at the contours of the line. Like, that stuff... You just use simple bearings and controllers to just sort of move this stuff around. And I really, really like it. So let's jump in and uh, there seems to be a front and a back. So what's this do? Oh, I think this might be the driver. Oh, that is so cool, man. He's got like a... So we've got like a parking brake. Which is nice. Um, a little bit of lag. He said it was a lot worse. Maybe just on your computer, man. This seems to be pretty, like, pretty good in terms of lag. So let's do this again. I like that. It sort of just crabs down and you get into tank mode. And he is using... I think that's the... Uh, the old glitcherino. Oh, we do get a fair bit of lag there. But it drives pretty well. Look at the grass kicking up everywhere. Why is it doing that? Let's pop it back up on the... Oh, why are we still moving that way? Oh, oh. Sweet. Getting some weird noises coming out of this thing. I believe this is the turret. It is. So you can shoot. Oh, cool. So W, A, S, and D control this turret. And uh, it'd be wicked, as I've said like a hundred times before, if Scrap Mechanic could add us a couple of um, really awesome, like, weapons. Some projectile weapons. Uh, let's go for a bit of a cruise over this way. I really like the design of this tank, man. Beautiful stuff. Very futuristic. And thank you. Yeah, thank you for submission, futuristic. Uh, <laughs> Of your futuristic tank, Oblivious Pig. I almost called you Futuristic Pig. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the next one. This next one causes me some ridiculous lag, but again, this is just another build that I am giving you a big hats off for the attention to detail on it. As you can see from the front, 
this is actually a steam train and I've seen quite a few steam trains around. So, um, you know, people don't go saying, oh, you stole this design. I mean, it's a train. I mean, people can make trains in this game. There are probably some ideas that he may have seen somewhere else. I've seen quite a few around um, the Scrap Mechanic subreddit, which is a good subreddit, by the way. Um, but this is just really nice, man. And I think what he's got going on here is a bit of a drive shaft, like you normally would have in a train. And we're going to try and drive it in a second. Um, this is good, too. Look attention to detail this this makes me really excited to see some cool stuff you guys build um so you've got at the back this is supposed to be a steam train they run off the coal this is coal that's supposed to be burned to create steam to create pressure which then turns into power um this is the way the coal is harvested or uh, sorry held and then shoveled into the engine usually around near the driver's seat and we can get in here into the driver's seat now we've got a couple of oh it's like that's where the, the engine or the coal goes. Some windows. Yep, just in case it gets a bit smoky. A horn. And we can... Oh, look at that. Actually drives really well. Oh, we're going to go down here first. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> it doesn't go too well off terrain. Let me out of this infernal machine. Um... I think I'm fully stuck, hey. Yep. I have broken the train. Only a peanut could, right? Uh, 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 let me out. Come on, man. Come on, scrap mechanic. Does that need to be there? Not really. Yeah, it just it just sucks that you, you get these things. I'm going to have to delete the windows here. Sorry, I kind of made your creation look a whole lot worse than it actually is. But I want to get this on the ground. I want to drive it a little bit. Um, is that the front? Yeah, that's the front. Sweet. The lag comes back. <laughs> uh, we'll go back to this. So it doesn't keep going white with that thing. Okay, so cool. Let's take it for a lap. Nice and slow, just as a steam train should go. And I wonder how that's steering. It must be suspension glitch, my favorite. Oh, the horn is really cool. My window still works, even though I butchered the side of it. <laughs> cool, thank you so much for your design. Um, I believe his name is Blue Dragon 764. I don't know if I even said that. Well, thank you, Blue Dragon 764. It is a very awesome and very beautiful steam train all right we've got one more thing to check out it's by someone who's given us a few things before mr cool robot 33 is at it again with his wacky designs for peanut land 2 and i love it dude this is a really good one now it's, it's very similar i mean to yeah to the other things but there is limitations within scrap mechanic and i think you're doing pretty well with those limitations for rides especially this is so awesome so just think about like this is bare bones obviously he, this is his concept and i want to use it in our world and i will probably send you the world again mr cool robot 33 so you'll have three rides in peanut land i've um just sent the world to another bloke who is going to be um building a few things so we'll see how that pans out but i don't think the middle is supposed to be bent like that it's probably from me derping it around so we've got oh that's that's not right let's go this way oh you know what happens every time every time i'm recording all right so now it's going i gotta get on this seat oh beautiful so number two i don't seem to have any audio kind of weird actually let me fix that i'm gonna and I do have audio. So, there's that first function where we get to spin 360 degrees. Then we can press 1. And then these here will spin again on this little axis. And there's your, there's your audio. It's getting pretty loud. This is way too fast, by the way. But then you can press 3. I'll turn that off. So, we can press 2, sorry. And the entire thing sort of lifts up and goes on a tilt like that. And it's pretty awesome, actually, how well this works. I really do like it. And I think if we spruce up the design a bit, mate, we can make this look really nice. Um, maybe instead of wooden beams, well, I don't know how you're going to go because it might be a weight issue. We could use the um, orange metal beams instead. That um, will go really nicely in Peanut Land 2. And Peanut Land 2 is shaping up to be pretty cool as well. So hopefully I can, like, 
um, get it finished maybe in the next week or so and we can do a nice little trailer video and give it to a couple of my mates who are YouTubers as well to, to kind of have a review. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, I want to thank you all three of you guys, Blue Dragon, Oblivious Pig, and Cool Robot for submitting really good scrap mechanic maps. If you have something cool you wish to share, there is an email address down below in the description. Um, you can send me an email and I'll check it out. But um, I can't check out everything, so please don't get upset if I don't email you back. I'm busy, all of the above. Um, yeah, so that's it. Don't forget as well that I'll be away for the next few days. I've got stuff going on. I've got Haven Expo. So uh, I'll be there and away from my home, which means I can't make videos. So look it out for on Saturday morning, afternoon-ish. I'll probably release a video. But uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Menace. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Thanks for watching.